are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. I remember the first day I met you so vividly. Every time I think about it, I still smile. You were and still are the most beautiful woman I've ever seen, inside and out. The first day I told myself I have to get to know you, you would end up becoming my best friend and the love of my life. I can't wait to see how gorgeous you look today. I want to also say thank you. You have been the reason I have achieved so many things in my life. Multiple college degrees, character improvements left and right, and a renewed relationship with God. You are the one who pushed me and supported me through it all. So I want you to understand what you're getting when I say the words I do. You're getting someone who vows to grow with you, grow old with you, and as well as growing in spirit as we build our relationship with God. I vow to protect you against harm's way, whatever it may be, and I vow to support you through anything you decide to take on in this life. Most importantly, you are getting someone that vows to love you and never leave your side, no matter what stands in our way. I've got you covered. Cody James. From the moment I first saw you, I knew you were special to me. At the time, it was just a high school crush I had on an upperclassman. And if you told me then that we would be getting married now, I would have called you crazy. But little did I know that just a few short years later, you would become my best friend, my teammate, the love of my life, and my family. You are a light in the lives of so many, but in mine especially. Every single day, you put a smile on my face and make me laugh. Whether it's from the weird little language we've made up, our silly code of voice, or one of your famous dance moves. You have a heart that is so big and puts me above all. You are a true gentleman who, even when I'm being irrational and crazy, respects me at all times. I know without a doubt that you will love me until your last day, just as I will love you until mine. Most importantly, you love my family and they love you sometimes a little more than I think we both bargained for. When I watch you with my siblings and cousins, I can't help but think what an amazing daddy you will be. I feel so blessed that our children will have the best role model to look up to. I know that you will protect them, teach them the ways of the Lord, and show them how cherished they are. I can't wait to watch you with them. First Corinthians has been a staple in our relationship, and just as it states, I vow to love you with patience and kindness. I vow to listen to you, understand you, and respect you at all times. I vow to be your teammate and always fight for our wins, not mine. I vow to support, encourage, and challenge you at all stages of life, and I vow to choose you every day. I vow to be the best mommy to our children, and I vow to keep the Lord in the center of our family. I give myself to you today and all the days of our lives. I love you. From this day forward, I have no doubt that the two of you are going to be a blessing to each other. Our world really needs more people like you. Thanks be to God, from this day forward, I believe as husband and wife, you will truly bless others with your kindness, your goodness, and your compassion. I, Caitlin, take you, Cody. I, Cody, take you, Caitlin. To be my husband. To be my wife. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My love from this day forward. In the presence of God. Our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner in sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. And to cherish you as long as we both shall live. You may kiss the groom. <laughs> it is my privilege to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Caitlin and Cody Gregory. Caitlin and Cody have been such a blessing in my life, as I'm sure they have been to many of yours. I truly do believe God made Cody and Caitlin for each other because their personalities and values fit perfectly. I can't wait to see y'all's relationship grow as husband and wife and for what the future holds. Cody makes sure to always take good care of my sister because she truly is special and deserves the absolute best. I love y'all both so much and I'm so excited to go on new adventures with the new married couple. I think my family has always considered you a part of ours because you already act as one of our siblings and we treat you as one. <laughs> but welcome officially. Congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Gregory. I love y'all. But eventually Caitlin came into his life and she's changed his life. He is not the same without her. She's already a part of our family. She's been a part of our family for about three years now. I love you like a sister. I love you both and I couldn't wish 
anything but happiness in the future. I love seeing y'all with Theo, and I can't wait to see y'all have little ones of y'all's own. So Theo have fun, you know, and I can't wait. I love y'all. To the Gregories and the people that they have around them, the support and, and the love that surrounds you guys. And I, I know I just, we're blessed and honored that all of you guys are here today. And Cody, uh, we're blessed and honored to have you in, in the Gregory's in our family now. So to the Gregory's. Baby, he 